Hi, I'm Mark Smith with Macroscopic Solutions and this is going to be a tutorial video about using the Macropod uh, with the micro kit, so at higher magnifications. Uh, typically the standard Macropod would include the MPE 65mm, which is a 1-5x to macro lens, uh, and today we're going to be discussing using the Mitsutoyo objectives, which are from a 10 to 100x range. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to set up the standard Macropod the way we ordinarily would, and I'm going to give you some advice in terms of how you should arrange and set up everything, use the diffusers, as well as uh, arrange your specimen on the stage. So we're going to get started with the, uh, the Macropod tripod. So we'll just open this up in its standard position where the back legs are in their 60 degree position and your front leg is extended the full 90 degree position. You're going to set that up wherever your workstation may be. Same as always, we're going to take the adapter plate and we're going to screw this through the bottom leg. And again, same as before, it's really important to just press on one side so that it's snug and straight along one side of the rail system. The next thing we're going to do is take the 70-200 to telephoto lens and we're going to position that facing where your stage is going to be. And you want to clamp it in. And then we're going to take our stack shot stage which you can see I already have it prepped and set up in a particular way. I have a piece of black felt that I'm going to have on the background, which really diffuses any of the background light. It eliminates glare, reflections, gives you a really pure, crisp black background. I also have the foam strip sticking to either side. And again, that's important for light diffusion, which we'll get to, but this is the standard L-bracket stage that we provide with these systems. If you notice, I have a little dollop of clay that's situated right in the center of the stage so that no light can come up through the center of that, that hole. But when you're using the micro kit, you don't want to position your specimen in that hole where the clay is. You actually want to take some clay and put it on the very front of the stage, just like this. And then you want to pin your specimens closest to the objective as possible, but without the sample coming into direct contact with wherever your light heads are positioned. So just keep that in mind for when we go to position our sample. So again, we'll set up the stack shot so that it is facing the lens. And you want to give yourself enough room here because you're going to be placing your objective on the front of the telephoto. So what we can do now is we can just remove the lens cap on the 70-200. to I've got a few different objectives here which I'm going to be capturing images. Um, I'm going to be using to capture images. I'm going to do a 10 to 50x. The 100x is very similar to a 50x. Um, it's not worth doing the 100x uh, objective as, as well uh, because a lot of the techniques and the approach is very consistent. But for the 10x objective, it's very important to use the correct diffuser. Uh, the 10x objective has a diffuser that gets situated directly on the front. It's got the O-ring in the back. You're, it just allows you to snugly place it directly on the front of the lens, and this differs from the other 50x and 100x diffuser because the bellow is much, much deeper, so it lets a lot more light through, and at the same time you're still reprojecting the light back. If you were to use this diffuser, you're going to get some severe vignetting, but this is better used uh, where your working distance is shallower and you're trying to maximize uh, light onto a very, very small area of a specimen at higher magnifications. So always use this diffuser. Remember, um, one of the edges here is flattened, and that's so wherever your pin is sticking out on the stage, you can maneuver the pin underneath this flat edge if, um, if it sticks out or if it comes into close contact uh, with your sample if you have a very shallow working distance. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take our adapter, and we're going to take the objective out, and we're just going to mount the 10x objective directly onto the adapter. And this goes without saying, but you always want to be very, very careful when working with this objective. Never, ever, ever take one hand off of it. Uh, it's always good to use two hands. If you drop this objective, it very well could damage it uh, for good. Uh, so these are very, very, very subjective to, to shock, so just be very careful with them. The next thing we're going to do is just slide the adapter directly into the 77 millimeter lens. 
And if you have um, a polarizer, prefer to use a polarizer, what you can do is place the polarizing filter between uh, this adapter and the camera lens. And we'll talk about that in future demonstration videos where we're demonstrating the petrographic uh, macropod and so forth. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this diffuser and just have it so the flat ends on the top. That way we do have a lot of light hitting this lower barrier here and I don't think we're going to have any issues uh, with our sample getting too close to this, this objective. Next thing we're going to do is take our camera body. Again, as always, you want to be very fast about this transition process, but careful at the same time. So we'll take our camera body and we'll just position it on the back. And the next thing we're going to do is take our flash, make sure that it's loaded with uh, four fresh AA batteries. We always use rechargeable AA's. And you're going to mount that on the top and tighten it down. Take each flash head, put it to its corresponding side, take out the, the screw to adapt the flash head, and go ahead and mount it directly onto your stage. So for this, I always kind of position them so that they're down. Uh, instead of being completely horizontal, uh, they're kind of down about 30 degrees. And then I turn the head so that they face towards uh, the, the flat frontal surface of the white diffusers. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. And now we're going to connect everything up. So we're going to take our stack shot controller, we're going to place that over here. We're going to connect our servo motor. So again, you're going to place the, the cable in the x-axis port, or if you have, uh, if you don't have the three axis controller, you're just going to place it in the standard motor, motor port. You're going to power on the stack shot. Again, I always have cables that are sitting here, so my, my stack shot power adapter is already here. I've already got my USB to computer cable, so I'm just going to pop that off and connect it. And then I'm going to plug in uh, the power pack for the camera. Oh, I've already got a battery in there. We'll just take that out. And then we're going to take our final cable, which connects the stack shot to the controller to the camera. Now once you have the entire system uh, configured and all the cables plugged in, it's now time to uh, configure the lens itself. So this lens comes with a lot of functions, a few ultrasonic motors, motors for stabilization, uh, changing the aperture and so forth, but all those features are effectively going to be turned off when using the objectives. So on the, the far side of this lens, you have two stabilization motors. You want to set both of those to the off position. The working distance, uh, you're going to be working under short distances. You want to have that set to 1.2 meters as opposed to the, the latter, the greater distance. And then you want to have the autofocus turned off so that you're using it in manual focus. So that'll go for the four switches that's on the far side of this lens. The next thing you want to do is set uh, the millimeter range uh, to what the objectives would require. And in this case, it's 200 millimeters. So from 70 to 200 millimeters, you want to be turned so that you're, you're, you're positioned directly in the 200 millimeter range. And you want to also adjust the camera so that you're shooting at your infinity um, range. So you want to just turn this nozzle here until you have the little infinity sign lined up uh, with, with your tick mark on the top of the lens. So to say it very straightforward, easily, those are the, the settings you want to have preset on this lens before you start to shoot. Um, that's the setup of the micro kit uh, on the Macropod, covered just about. If I did miss anything, if you have further questions, please just ask in the comment section below and we'll get to them. The next video is going to be uh, me capturing a photograph of an actual specimen on stage uh, using the 10, 20, and 50x objectives.